So we are rolling right along with the eight films to die for uh, after our car fests. Last year they did it 2015. And number seven on this marathon of movies is The Wicked Within. Now, it's, it's a little bit of a mixed bag with this one. Um, what we got here is we got a family that, that had a tragedy. So they're kind of estranged. So they all come together and... You know, there, there's some hidden issues there. And when one of the women in the family kind of gets possessed, that's when things hit the fan. Now, the movie is told kind of like in a past tense form because we have Eric Roberts, of all people, who is investigating and interrogating the survivors of this family get-together. And he's being told all the details of what happened. But the gist of it is, is something, maybe the devil, maybe something else, has possessed one of the women in the family and a lot of weird stuff happens and we find out that you know there was a death in the family and it was a child and that maybe there's some circumstances surrounding that that not everybody in the family was clued into there's also some other secrets and i would just basically say it's a bunch of uh somewhat bad performances uh, some some cliched uh, twists and turns along the way and just not really my type of movie i mean it's a horror movie, so you all automatically you have to throw some logic out the window when you watch it. But how quickly this family seems to just get right on board to the fact that somebody's possessed kind of gets me. Because in the real world scenario, if you were possessed by a demon or the devil, your family would probably seek out help before just saying, you know, it's possession. And that's basically what happens here. Everybody's like, oh, she's possessed. And someone just so happens to know a medium, you know. And then when, when things go how they go there, somebody knows a priest. So, it's a lot of coincidence here. And, of course, they must have been watching The Usual Suspects with how some of this kind of wraps up. And they might have thought it was pretty clever when they wrote that into the ending. But, me personally, I found it a bit disappointing. I will say there's a few bloody moments here and there that are kind of entertaining it gets better near the later half of the movie before it wraps up. But when you get to the kind of silly twist that it's got and some of just the awful, awful dialogue this movie possesses, it's, it's just, it's not very good. So I'm probably, I'm going to be, I don't want to be generous. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a two, a two out of five. If you're looking for just a few of these movies to watch out of these eight films to die for, this is one you can skip. Um... We've seen possession movies done a million times. We've seen them done a million times better. We've seen a motivated Eric Roberts back in the day. Heck, I've seen a motivated Eric Roberts in some of the newer independent stuff he's done. But this one, this is a motivated Eric Roberts. So when it comes to The Wicked Within, you can skip that one.